All right, cool. Thank you for bearing with us, Michelle, while we finish up our little chat. Welcome to the Push to Emerald call. So we're super excited to um, be recording this for you guys because this is the next step in your business. And this is really when you open your doors and unlock the true potential to your coaching business is when you start sharing the coaching opportunity with those around you and and growing your team, linking arms with other women who want to work on themselves and, and, and share their story with others to help empower more people around us. Because as a group of 10 women, we can help so many more than just us as an individual. So it's not about scamming people in to come in with us or to like convince people that they should be a coach. If it's not for them, it's not for them. But the beauty of, of linking arms with other people who have a similar vision and who are excited to make changes in their life and, and lead life with healthier habits and growth and personal development and vision is really empowering and it helps you create excitement and momentum within your own journey as well. So tonight we are going to talk to you about Reaching that first rank advancement, which is Emerald. So it's you plus two of your own personally sponsored coaches. Okay. And that is really when you unlock your business and when you can start one, creating um, residual income. So it's income that's based on other things other than just sales right? It's based on the growth of your team and how many people you're helping on a daily, weekly, monthly basis. Um, and then it also opens the doors for uh, you to receive customer leads um, and connect with more people who you maybe wouldn't have connected with outside of your social media and in your circle of people. Um, but before we dive in too much, I would love for you to, and if you're listening to the playback, make sure you drop in the comments of the Facebook page too. What fears do you personally have or hesitations when we say we're going to talk to you about enrolling two of your own coaches? Like what comes to mind when you think about inviting somebody to the coaching opportunity and to join you as a coach, to learn exactly what you're doing, to go through the steps that you've been going through with the coach training and learning how to connect with people, how to stay, take steps for yourselves. Like what are some of those fears or hesitations that you have? Um, you can drop them in. If you can drop them in the chat here. And if you're listening to the playback, drop them in the comments below. So that way we can address those um, as we go through the call. And then if we're, you're listening to the playback, we'll definitely come back and address those as well. But this is your friendly reminder that every single coach in the network, including the beautiful faces you see on your camera right now, all started right where you are. We all started as a new coach who enrolled to work on themselves, to create healthier habits for themselves, to maybe save a little bit of money and didn't really know a whole lot about the coaching opportunity, what it was going to look like, um, or or what they were getting themselves into, right? We all started from, from ground zero. And so I just want to remind you of that because it can be so easy to look at other coaches in the network and just think that, oh, she just woke up a star diamond, or she just woke up making six figures, or she just woke up with this huge following of people on Instagram. That's not the case. So remember, we all start where we are and we grow along the way. Okay. It's just those people who have reached those bigger ranks that you're kind of maybe putting on a pedestal right now. They've just worked really, really hard for a long period of time to get there. So they're, they're, ch they're chapters, books ahead of where you are right now, but they still started with chapter one. Okay. So for me, um, I actually didn't become an Emerald coach right away. And maybe that's what it looks like for you. Or maybe you've been a coach for a while and you, you maybe don't believe that you can do it. Maybe there are some, some doubts or some hesitations that are holding you back. I personally didn't become a coach to work the business. 
I simply became a coach because I fell in love with Shakeology. I was already loving P90X and the programs. And so I enrolled as a coach because we were living paycheck to paycheck and I needed to save money if I was going to keep using Shakeology on a regular basis. But as I continued on my journey and as I started to have better results and I started to believe in myself a little bit more, then I decided to start working the business and sharing this opportunity with other people. Because at the end of the day, our programs and our challenge groups are incredible, incredible, right? They're life changing and they teach us so much, but I am who I am and where I am today because I took that leap of faith and became a coach and started connecting with other coaches. I surrounded myself with empowering, strong women who didn't have it all figured out, who weren't perfect, but who were in the trenches with me and who were willing to grow along the way. And it is the coaching community and immersing myself in that community that has helped me grow to who I am today over the last nine years to, to be here. So you, you may have hesitations. You may not even see yourself as an emerald or a diamond or a star diamond coach yet because it, it probably seems so far away, but I'm telling you, it's much closer than what you realize if you're willing to grow and learn. Okay. So, um, I think that's all I have. I'm going to pass it to Mindy. She's going to share with you guys, um, exactly what you need to do to become an Emerald coach and kind of what that looks like. And then, um, Kate's going to close us up with mindset because it's definitely a decision to have that confidence within yourself, to share this with others, not only as a challenger, but also to share it as a coach. So it's all you, Mindy, I'm going to mute myself. Okay. So for me, um, I actually started as a challenger in January of 2018. So, um, I, was in Corey's challenge groups and participated. I was all in from the beginning as a challenger, but I was always super, super, super hesitant to coach. And I think part of that was because just where I was um, in my personal life and in my journey, I just didn't have the confidence to think that I could be out there doing what I was watching Corey do. And I mean, she's freaking amazing, but I would look at her and be like, oh, there's no way I could do that. So it took, <laughs> took about two and a half years before Corey, I mean, she was inviting me along the way, but before she reached out and said, Hey, I, you know, we're having this, this, um, coach sneak peek. And are you interested in listening in? And I was at a point where where um, I was ready. I think I was ready. I am a very analytical person. So I had kind of just been watching and learning and picking things up as I went and I was ready to give it a try. So I went to the coach sneak peek and just listened to the stories that the ladies had to tell and was like, that's it. I'm doing it. Like it's my time. I already love the programs. I love the products. I love the community. This is just the, the next logical step. So I signed up as a coach and in July of um, 2020, and then I, I was like, okay, now what? So I really dove into all of the trainings because I'm like, okay, now I'm, I'm ready to do this, but now what do I need to do? So I dove into all of the trainings and um, just asked a lot of questions. And the first thing that kind of kept coming up was, Emerald. Emerald is your first move if you're going to be serious about coaching. If you're a discount coach and you're just here for the discount, that's one thing. But if you're here and you want to grow a business, um, Emerald is really that first thing that you want to achieve. It's your first promotion. It is your first like, hey world, I'm coming and this is what I want to do. So that was what um, I wanted to learn. How am I going to do it and what do I need to do? So the first thing um, with Emerald and, and how to achieve it is Emerald is basically you plus two. So, and we'll get more into this with some of the trainings that we're going to do, but um, basically you have yourself at the top of, of um, the pie here, and then you've got two legs on either side. So think of it as a person. Um, you've got a right leg and a left leg. So in order to be Emerald, you have a coach under you on your right leg and a coach under you on the left leg. Those have to be active coaches, and which means that they have uh, 
personal volume that they are bringing in as well. And that is how you achieve Emerald. So it seems very simple because it is. And Kate's going to talk more about it. It is a decision. So you have to think about there's two people in my life who love me, who support me, who are going to want to help me to accomplish this goal. And those are going to be people you want to talk to. Um, and uh, like Corey said, it's not like a salesy, like, hey, you know, I just want your, you know, I just want your money or I just need you to do this for me. It is like when you're serious about it and you're excited about it, people are going to see that and they're going to see your excitement and they're going to want to help you because they want to see you succeed and they want to share in what you're doing. And that's how it was for me. Like I was just the results that I was getting and the complete like change in my personality and my perspective on life and how I took care of myself and how I, you know, interacted with other people. Like it was just a complete change and people could see that. Like I could feel it and see it in myself, but others could see it too. And so I didn't have a lot of trouble finding, you know, who my first two coaches were going to be in order to become Emerald. So one was my boyfriend, um, a lot of times you'll hear people say, you know, your spouse and there's reasons behind it and things like that. But um, as you're growing your team, that that's a very good one to have at the top of one of your legs. And then it was my best friend was my other. And so and Kate's going to talk a little bit more about this, too, but it doesn't have to be like those don't have to be like the two people that are going to grow your team if you want to continue on to Diamond. It doesn't have to be your long term team, but those are the people that are going to help you get started because they love you and they care about you and they see your excitement and they're ready to help you grow. Now, the other thing with um, Emerald that I think uh, is important to realize also or to understand is I'll step back a little bit. When I was in um, in school, I went to school for chemical engineering. And so that's what my bachelor's degree is in. And when I talk to people about that now, I say, you know, what I remember from college, what I remember <laughs> from engineering school isn't all of the details that were, you know, in my chemistry book or my physics book or anything like that. What I learned in that program was how to think, how to problem solve, like it was basically laid the groundwork. It was the blueprint for how I was going to, you know, succeed in my career as an engineer. When it comes to coaching, becoming Emerald, that is it. That is the key. That is the blueprint. That is how you're going to succeed as a coach because literally all you're doing is duplicating that as frequently as possible. So you are becoming Emerald over and over and over and over again. And that is what's growing your team. And then as you have coaches who are under you, who do want to work the business, now you're teaching them how to become Emerald and they are then duplicating that. And that is literally how you grow your team. So it's really important to understand and to kind of wrap your arms around it because when it's so new and, and you're not really sure like exactly what it is and you're learning and that's okay because like Corey said, we all start somewhere. That's a really important principle to pick up though is why it's important and what it looks like so that you're able to continue to duplicate that process because that is what's going to make you successful down the road. Um, so I am going to pass it over to Kate because she's going to get really into the, the mindset piece and how to keep it going. Okay, guys. So my story is so long and convoluted with this whole beach body thing. Like we could be here like for a week. Um, but when it comes to like this call that we're on, it is 1000% safe to say that the reason that I struggled with coaching or that the biggest roadblocks that I had was belief and it was mindset. I would start creating momentum with my business. Mind you, I mean, I've been a coach, stopped coaching, been a coach, stopped coaching. I don't even know. I think like at least twice I did that before I decided like, no, I'm going to do this. Um, you know, and I would, I would have be creating momentum in my business and I would be doing all the things and my business would be growing. And then I would just crawl into my head and I would just destroy it all, like burn it all down, like just be done with it. And I would just, and I would just step, step back. So when it comes to becoming Emerald, oh my gosh, it really, really is 
a decision. Like Mindy said, it is, you know, I remember the day when I decided that I wanted to go Emerald. It's really funny. I used to work in a jewelry store and the, one of the people I used to work with, they had called me. She was an assistant manager there. And she said, Hey, you know, we're looking for an accountant. I used to be in accounting. And so she's like, you know, we're looking for an accountant to run all of the overhead for the store. Do you want to come in? You can pick your hours. You can work whenever you want, you know, we'll pay you X amount of money. And at the time we were so financially strapped, like our marriage has like all kinds of up and downs, but like finances certainly contributed to that. Like, like seriously, like if we had an emergency, like holy crap, like what we wouldn't have even known what to do. I mean, we had weeks where it was like, we need to pick a day, a specific day to go buy groceries because we couldn't afford it. Like, cause I was at home with Eve. It was just Quentin working. It was super stressful. And so we had crunched the numbers with that. And when it came to daycare for Eve, I was going to barely bring anything home after daycare from this job that I could take part-time. And I don't know, I had tried coaching before and, you know, done the whole like, just constant, I don't know, just like, it was like a wheel of just, just kept going around, like playing the same record. And like, we were sitting at the kitchen table and I, I looked at Quentin, I'm like, man, I was like, you know, when I'm on with this thing, like I am so on, like, I feel so good. And like, I get so far with it. Like, I, I really think I can do this. Like, I really think I can do this. Corey says I can do this. Like I, I can freaking do this. So I just told him, I said, look, I said, all of the top coaches, like, you know, they all have their spouse or someone at the, um, up towards the top of their coaches because Beachbody allows you to control multiple accounts. So like for the long run, like I would love to have you as a coach because then I can work your account down the road after I build up mine. I called my mom who at the time was interested in getting some of the collagen and like some of the other stuff. And I said, Hey, like, I just really need your support right now. Like I really, I just need to do this. And like, I'm not kidding you. They were both signed up by the end of the day. And I texted Corey and I was like, I'm Emerald. I did it. I'm done. Moving on. It was that, <laughs> it is that simple of a process, but I'm not trying to downplay the mental, like craziness that you go through to get to that point but I promise you when you pull the trigger it's not like you're going to get to the other side and be like whew that was a lot of work you're going to be like oh okay well that was I got freaked out for nothing so um I you know and the funny thing is about all this is when my husband and my mom became a coach with me which mind you I was that person that was like I'm not doing that Like I'm going to find people who are going to work with me and I'm not, I'm not having anybody like just sign up to like pity me or help me. Like that was very much my mindset. It was not, it was not one to have. I don't recommend it. But, um, once I did become Emerald, all of a sudden I started enrolling coaches. And I think part of that is the mindset shift. I think the mindset shift is the most important thing when it comes to this whole Emerald thing, because you guys, when you become Emerald, you have skin in the game. It gives you a leg up. It gives you confidence within our own personal team. You have access to that much more support. Um, You have access to that much more knowledge and information. Like literally as you level up yourself, like you get added to a leveled up circle. So it just, I don't know. Like I just, it just wasn't that big of a deal to start reaching out to people and being like, Hey, you know, do you want to come do this with me? And, you know, when it comes to like finding your people, you guys, because like I 10,000% guarantee that the people that you're going to hustle and link arms with, and you're going to share this mission and you're going to just feel on fire doing this all with them the same way that we all feel about working with each other. They are out there. They're a hundred percent out there, but I can almost guarantee that you don't even know who they are yet. Like, sure. Like you may, you may like one day down the road, have a friend or a family member or somebody you know, who, who is going to do this with you and actually work this business. But I promise they are not the people that you need to be putting all of your effort into. Yes, they are the people to help you to hit this rank. Like the people who are going like your ride or dies that are going to support you. They're there for that. But when it comes to, you know, really leveling up in this business, you're going to meet those people. So I think, I don't know. I just feel like for me, the biggest mindset shift that I had after like just pulling the trigger with Emerald that really changed the whole thing for me 
was that these people that I was going to enroll as coaches, not only were they not necessarily going to be coaches with me for life, and maybe they will be. I definitely have some now that I'm like, yeah, like we're doing this. Like this is this is our what we're going to do. But you know, there's going to be a lot of them that don't. There's going to be a lot of coaches that aren't even going to work a business, you guys. I am at a diamond rank. I have quite a few coaches. I have three that work. The rest are all clients who wanted a discount or they're clients that wanted in on a program early, like nine week control freak or like, let's get up. That's coming out Monday. Like I've got a few people that are like, Hey, like, I really want to do that now. Like I have FOMO like crazy. They sign up as a coach because they want to have the early access. They want the perks and down the road, we're going to have, um, what is it? That preferred customer thing. So that might mess with us a little bit, but that's something for another day. But, um, just take the pressure off. Like most of the coaches that I get, the last coach that I got was that I helped her to sign up. She, you know, we had just been talking and I was just like, Hey, like if you're, you know, you're excited about trying these shakes, do you think that you're going to continue with them down the road? And she's like, yeah, you know, I might. And I said, well, we can enroll you as a coach. Now it would be way easier to do that now than down the road, get you enrolled as a coach to get the discount. And so but that mindset for me, feeling so comfortable to just put that out there without feeling salesy or putting pressure on people was because I had hit Emerald and because it, like it does, it does take the pressure off. So like my advice for you when it comes to building up to this whole thing, because I think so much of the time, like for me, I'm a really analytical person and I'm a recovering perfectionist and people pleaser. And so like, I always have to have like all my ducks in a row and like my posts have to be perfect and my stories had to be perfect. And like everything had to be freaking perfect before I could actually like pull the trigger and be emerald. You guys, none of that stuff matters. Like none of it matters. Like in, in fact, like Instagram nowadays doesn't even want your stuff to look pretty. They're all about like your feed just looking like whatever now. The only thing I, we need for you guys to do is to just get really freaking excited. Like just get super excited, share your journey, be authentic within your journey, reach out to your ride or die people and be real with them. Be like, Hey, like I'm serious about this. I am not like dabbling into this. I am jumping in head first. I really could use your support. Will you please support me? I promise you they will. So I think that was all I had. I don't know. I think we're good there. Yeah. <laughs> I love you. Bring the fire. Okay, it's so Mich <laughs> Michelle typed in um, that she um, is nervous that she's not going to know enough to like teach her her incoming coaches or how to like properly guide them. And so that is a wonderful fear or hesitation because it is so real. Everybody, I think every single coach goes through that feeling. So I'm so glad that you shared that um, so that we can kind of touch on that. Th the thing is, is you don't have to know everything. Um, and, and one way that you can share or invite people to coach with you is, hey, I really don't know what the hell I'm doing. I'm just starting myself, but I'm already feeling better. I'm already doing X, Y, and Z. I love these girls that I get to work with. And I would love for you to do it with me and we can figure it out together. You have such a unique position as a brand new coach embarking on this new journey and having that momentum and excitement going into something new. Share that. You don't have to be the expert. That's what we're here for. That's why... Our team works together. Mindy, Kate, and I lead all of the trainings together. So you get three leaders who are providing all of that content and information for you. It's already done. It's already laid out for you. We have everything every single month laid out. So it's super simple for you girls. And as you grow and as you learn and you, you get more foundation with the business, then you'll help lead the trainings. Like Katie Sullivan helps a lot. Um, Kylie has helped a few times. Michelle helps out. Um, as you girls are starting to grow, we slowly start help, having you help with things so you can build your confidence and grow as a leader as well but you don't have to have it all figured out. 
And the beauty of them coming in with you is one, you can do it together and you can be in the trenches together, but you're already a few steps ahead of them, right? You've already taken that first step. You've already gone through the trainings. You're already showing up on team calls. You're already ahead of them to help. You don't have to be chapters ahead of them. You just have to be a couple steps ahead and continue to take those steps forward to keep learning and growing. Okay. And that's for any of you, because I know that that's such a fear, especially if you're an Emerald and you are an Emerald personality, not Emerald coach. Um, and you are very analytical because you have to have all your ducks in a row before you pull the trigger. You don't, you don't have to. Okay. That's why we have everything laid out and we have everything as a team. We have team calls. It's not just my girls. It's not just Kate's girls. It's not just Mindy's girls. It's our team. We all come together for all of these calls. Okay. Um, and you are never alone. Yes. Is what Mindy said. Um, yes. You always have us to reach out to you. That's why we have those private threads so that you girls can come in there and say, Hey, look, like, and you wouldn't be in the same thread as your coaches, except for to help guide them you're going to be in a thread that's a little bit ahead of them. So if you do have a question about how to guide them best, they're not going to necessarily see it. You're going to be in a different thread to help you grow for where you're at. So, um, and Kate said, I don't have it all figured out right now. And neither do I. <laughs> I it's, it, everything's always constantly changing and we have to grow and learn. So, um, I think that's all that we have for tonight. Um, for you girls who are watching the playback, please let us know what your fears and hesitations are in the comments below so we can help you work through them because this really is that next step. And for you to say, I am a coach and I am here to empower other women to create healthier, happier lifestyles. And we're going to do this together. And you guys, even if those first couple coaches aren't going to be your working coaches and lifers, because they probably aren't, they're going to be family and friends who maybe want to discount or who are going to support you. And that's okay. It's going to help you start growing your confidence. Okay. So that you can start sharing with other people and you start, when you practice, then you get more comfortable with sharing with other people along the way. And just really quick, before I close um, the call out, Mindy, it took her two years, two and a half years before she finally said, okay, and even though she was killing challenge groups and she was already doing everything that we do as coaches, except for inviting other people to join her. She's like, yeah, yeah, I'll do it. But I just want to be the disc. Like, I just want it for the discount. Literally. That's what she said to me in July. And I am 100% like, okay, that I'm not going to put her in the trainings. I'm not going to push. We're just going to, I'm just like everything has always been. I'm going to continue to check in with her as a challenger and let her take advantage of the discount. Homegirl went in and did all the trainings by herself. And next thing I know, she's Emerald. And I'm like, what? What, where, where, Mindy? Like, where did you come from? So it's, it's just getting out of your own way and making that decision to where you want to take this business. If you see yourself being a lifer and helping other people and continuing to stay plugged into our team and growing and um, taking those steps forward each day, it's the next step. So do yourself a favor and take the step instead of all the reasons why you can't, just like your wellness journey. Don't let all of those hesitations and excuses and, oh, I'm just not sure, and the unknowns hold you back. Trust us. We're still here and alive, and we we did it, um, and you will be too. So, um, And we'll get to celebrate you, which is a whole other aspect of fun and just all the feel goods, right? So... All right. I love you all. Thank you for making the time to be on this call. Kate and Mindy, thank you so much for helping lead. As always, I love you girls. I hope you guys have a great rest of your evening.